I'm not going to be long-winded. Um, I, I do have to point out, though, because people are constantly saying that those of us who fight against police terror don't fight against white supremacy killing our babies. And as I look at both who called this, but also the faces out here, the faces that I'm seeing out here, the faces I see in the streets all of the time. And so I want to thank you all for your continued spirit of resistance. And then I just want to end by upholding black mamas. Black mamas who for 500 years in this country have been burying our babies at the hands of white supremacy. That for 500 years have been trying to figure out how to keep our babies safe from the hands of white supremacy. That for 500 years have been warning our children about the evils of white supremacy. We continue to do that. We will continue to do that. We will continue to love our children and protect our children and warn our children and mourn our children. And the only other thing that I want to say is when you see these requests to come to meetings, come. When you see people are doing work that's not just about responding to the terror in our lives, but it's about preventing the terror in our lives, come. It's not just, it's, it's, Mama Maddie was right, it's not just about being in these streets after the fact. We have to be on these, in these streets before the fact. We have to be creating and designing systems that are divorced from this bullshit right here that are actually going to keep us safe and empower our communities. Black folks, we have to be creating a self-determined agenda. Mama Wanda, will you come up here, please? I'm actually going to shut up now, and I'm going to ask this black mother, who's also a pastor, if she would pray us out of here. <laughs>